Woods. And I want every single person here to be assured of their salvation. We're not here to harm anyone. We're here to give you more than six lottery number with, uh, numbers a win because that them six lottery number, I might get a hug off you, but it's temporal, it doesn't last. You even hear of people on the papers that say, do you know what, I've won everything, I've got everything in life, but I'm, I, I'm not happy. There's break, break up of marriages, there's, you know, everything that goes wrong, even with having what you think is everything. God, all he wants, and all he's ever wanted, is to get back in relationship with you. But the thing that's stopping that relationship and that eternity, it's called sin. God gave the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not lie. And it says in the Bible that God doesn't change, he's the same yesterday, today and forevermore. So those Ten Commandments still stand today. And if God is a judge, and you have lied, and you have stolen, and it even says in the Bible that if you look at a person with lust, Jesus said you've already committed adultery in his eyes. So you might be thinking, well there's no hope for me, because I've broken all those commandments. Well this is why I'm telling you today, this is why I'm telling you why you need a saviour. You need to someone to wash those sins away. And the precious blood of Jesus Christ did that for you. And what mad person wouldn't want to accept a free gift of eternity? To know that they're going to spend eternity with God. What mad person will just walk up and down the street here and walk past the preacher and say, do you know what, I want to do it my way. I might do it on my deathbed. Well, I hope that you don't get knocked down by a tram or, or, or a bus or you get cancer because Here's the sad fact, every single one of us, including me, is going to die. That's a, it's, it's a fact. But I don't want you to die in your sin. Jason doesn't want you to die in your sin. The guys here, we don't want you to die in your sin. And that's why we're here to tell you the good news of the gospel. The good news is the gospel, it's so simple, it's a very simple message. We've messed up, but we can get right with God by putting our faith and trust in him. Paul says in the book of Romans that we need to do two things to receive the gift of salvation. And I'm gonna give you the two things. Is, is, is anyone, does anyone wanna hear just the two things that you need to do to be assured of your salvation? Paul says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, why does he want you to confess it? I'll tell you why, because every single thing that Jesus did on this earth, all the miracles that he did, he made the deaf ears hear and the blind eyes see. He even raised people from the dead. He didn't do it behind a bus or in a back room, he did it publicly. And do you know what? He gave his life publicly. He climbed on that tree and gave his life for you publicly and all he's asking you to do today is saying I don't understand it all but I want to put my faith and trust in you just like you would do if you put a parachute on and you jumped out of a plane you've got to put your trust in that parachute and all God's asking today is put your trust in me your faith will grow the more that you understand him the more that you want to get to know him but it takes somebody to put that trust and faith in him. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask something of you, and it might, <laughs> I don't wanna embarrass any, any one of you, I'm, I don't, I'm not here to embarrass you, but the person that you're sat with, or stood with here now listening to this, isn't gonna be with you on judgment day, they're not gonna be with you. You're gonna be on your own, and you're gonna be stood there, and it says that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You have two options. Option number one, do it your way and spend eternity away from Jesus. Option number two, it's called free will. The handle is on the, on the inside of the door. It says, knock and I'll come in. But it takes you to open the handle. You've got to say, do you know what? I don't understand it all, but yeah, I'm going to give this God a go. I'm going to give this God a go of the Bible. So the second thing that Paul says, that if you confess with your mouth 
and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, you will be saved. See you, bro. How are you, brother? Are you okay? You will be saved. Is there anybody here today that wants to put the trust in Jesus Christ and wants that assurance of eternity? Madam, would you want to be assured of your salvation? You're not bothered? I'll, I'll do it my way. Is there anybody here that wants to put the trust in Jesus and say, do you know what? I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I thank you that you gave your life. I didn't ask you to do it, but you did it anyway because you love me. That is the greatest gift that God's ever done, is to give his only begotten son, who he spent eternity with, and all of a sudden, because he loves us that much, he was separated from the Father. The Father was separated from the Son. Jesus shouted out in the Hebrew, Eloi, Eloi, Labnik Sabathami, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? For the very first time ever in eternity, God turned his back on the Son because his Son carried our sin. What a gracious God, what a loving God we serve that he did that on the cross so we can be right with him. I'm asking, please, 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 free. give your life to Jesus Christ. It's free. It's free. Ask him to be your Lord and Saviour. Stop living your life just getting by. God doesn't want you to get by. You know, we, we all live, don't we? We all have a mortgage. We all drive, you know, some of us have cars. And we, it's, we're living hand to mouth. You know, we lost our job. We could lose everything within the space of three months. That's how the enemy, this is how this world is designed, that let's buy it now, let's let's have it now, and we'll pay for it later. You know, the, the, the nice uh, plasma or the latest oil led TV or whatever. Let's 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 get it now, we'll, we'll worry about it later. But you know something, and, and I'm to blame as well, I do the same. I've got a nice car, I've got a nice TV and all that. But do you know something? If I had a heart attack, if something happened to me, I'm three months away from going under. And I think there's a lot of us that are walking up and down this road today are in the same situation. But what is even more scarier than that is that you're in fear of losing your salvation. You're in fear of spending eternity away from Jesus Christ. And none of us want that to happen today. We want you to know the love of God. So I'm asking you, please, please put your trust in the Saviour. Put your trust in somebody that died for you on a cross, that loved you so much, that he gave his only begotten son. That is fantastic news, sister. Amen. Oh, thank you. Bless you. Bless you. You see, this lady here, shall I tell you something about this lady? I've never met her before in my life. But see, that lady there, she's going to spend eternity with God. Do you know why? She lives by faith. It says in the Bible it's impossible to please God without faith. We all have to have faith. We've all got to put our faith in something. Every time you jump on a plane, you put your trust in a pilot. Every time you, put, you jump in a taxi, I know the taxi drivers are like around here, you know, you're putting your, your life in your hands sometimes. But you're doing it because you need to get from A to B. You need to get from the start of a destination to the end. Do you know what Jesus Christ said? He said, I am the way. I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. Because God wants to give you life. And he says after that, no one, but no one comes to the Father but by me. You can't earn your salvation. You can't believe in a different God because every other God or every other prophet the walk the face of this earth is in the grave. Jesus Christ rose. He rose on the third day and it said that he stood, he sat at the right hand of the Father and he's going to come back one day for his bride. It says that he is the groom and he is the bride. There are people that jump on a plane for the holidays once a year and they have a ticket, it's called a boarding pass. And some people miss that plane because they're either drunk out of their heads getting smashed before they jump on the plane and you'll run up to the desk and say let me on the plane, let me on the plane, I've got my boarding pass but the stewardess will say I'm sorry we've closed the gate and God is going to close the gate one day and you're going to say but I'm sorry 
I, I heard the preacher, but I decided to ignore him. I decided just to carry on doing what I'm doing and living my life the way that I want to do it. But now I see that you are real. Please let me in. And you'll see the plane taking off. And you'll realise that you'll never ever go on a journey with God. Don't let that happen, Huddersfield. Don't let that happen. The Bible says today is the day of your salvation. Today is the day. Don't let anybody stop you from knowing the true love of Jesus Christ. Come to him. It says come to him as a child. Just ask him. Just say, Lord, if you're real, please show yourself to me. I've heard this preacher talking about you today. This nutter, the people that have got billboards on talking about prepare to meet thy God. It's true. You, you will meet you your creator one day. And we want you to experience the love of God now. It says in